and we're back so today we're going to build my kitchen cabinet I have it all taped out on the floor it's been taped up forever so it's gonna be nice to finally uh, get this thing installed once I got the ceiling bit kind of finished where the walls were gonna line up I it's safe to go ahead and move forward now so um, I have the stencils all made um, I made them out of cardboard and now I'm going to I traced them out onto the the three-quarter ply and I'm gonna get them cut out and start trying to fit the walls in here and make sure everything is kind of sitting just how I want and then once I get those set up I can start building the shelves and the cabinets and drawers or whatever I can dream up to kind of make it so I can have as much storage as possible in that thing so here we go the plywood but I had a one board that was kind of like the sanded uh, three-quarter ply four bait sheet which you can see looks different from this sheet of ply here um, and it's a lot nicer grade uh, plywood and what I noticed was right here on the corner there is a bunch of you know it's just falling apart so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to pack it full of wood filler and uh, kind of fill in a few more spots that, you know, whatever I can see that needs it. Let that dry overnight and then uh, I'm going to go make a run to the hardware store and pick up a few things that I, I still need yet. Um, i got to get some longer screws to get uh, my amp mounted to the back of my uh, box behind the seats and I need to get uh, the board that I'm going to be using for my countertop. I'm going to go ahead and call this the kitchen cabinet. Um, I'm going to be painting the whole cabinet white and then my countertop, I was going to go get one of those um, at like Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever they have these wider um, pine, I think they are actual like they're four countertops um, and I was going to use that to kind of you know be a little accent to the the white cabinet and it, it would match the ceiling just um, put polyurethane on it that's like food safe or whatever but um, yeah so my wood filler is all dried up um, I got the one of the sides of the cabinet uh, clamp so I can router this outside edge here um, I'm gonna do it to both sides of the cabinet and then because of how they fit in the van, I'm going to have to build the cabinet in place, which kind of sucks, um, but it'll eventually get done. But when I when I glue and I was gonna glue and brad nail this thing together, when it's all seated inside the van, I can't tip it forward to slide it out the back. It's too snug. It's too good of a fit. So what I'm doing is I'm installing everything that's going to get attached by screws first. Um, that way I can take it apart and you know sand it and paint it. 
and then once I have it sanded and painted how I want it, I will go ahead and attach the the pieces of wood that are going to get connected with like brad nails and wood glue. Um, I'll leave those bits unpainted so that everything attaches nice and secure. And then I'll just have to do some touch up painting inside the van. So right now I'm going to work on cutting a few more, all the pieces that need to be brad nailed now um, so that I can get everything painted and everything should go back together uh, somewhat smoothly. I guess we'll find out. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. So now you can kind of see how the dividers are going to be set up. Um, it's just four different storage bins. Um, these upper ones, I'm going to try to make drawers. The top left one will be one big drawer for pots and pans. And then I'm, what I'm going to try to do is make two smaller drawers. This is 10 inches between these two boards. So two like five inch-ish drawers. But yeah, this kind of came together how I planned. Um, and then I'm just gonna use L brackets, try to hide them down in the corners. You should really never see them. Um, but it's getting there. Um, so now I'm going to pull it all apart and I think get everything routered, sanded, and painted. <laughs> So when I routered the one of the walls, um, I had kind of mentioned that I was going to put some wood filler in here and that should hopefully help make this corner look nice. Um, I kind of forgot that I put wood filler in because it did, it routed really well. Um, and I forgot that there was wood filler in there. So when I put the screws in, I pre-drilled them and everything, but it split the board right here really bad um, and you can see kind of what I'm working with here this entire edge came up um, it's all caved in here so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sand it all down and what I'll have to do is once it's in the van I will fill this with wood filler again sand it and then just touch it up with some white paint um, and it won't be a perfect fix but it will at least hide this crazy looking ugly mess I got going on so I'm going to hopefully fix that and then other than that the other wood filler held up really well up here with the routering and the sanding so um, it's coming together <laughs>
while the paint was drying, um, I got all the coats now on both sides of all the wood. Um, I decided to work on this little like, I guess box shelf kind of thing um, to, to hide some of the reflectix insulation here. Um, and what it's going to do is it's going to make like kind of like a nice little shelf here for the other part of the bed cushion to lean against because this is kind of like an irregular shape and I had these stupid like things to try to deal with. Uh, this one is for the rear seat belt um, to mount to and this is actually the slider that's like a cavity on the outside. The slider goes into that when the door closes. So I couldn't do anything about that one. This one I could have gotten rid of, but it's spot welded on. I would have had to drill it all out. So what I decided to do was build this box around here, which is what I'm working on now. I'm spray gluing it down. Um, I just made it out of, you can see just some spare wood that I had here and then masonite. Um, it's not gonna get a lot of weight on it. It didn't need to be extremely strong. It just needed to hide this like void this cavity it just needed to kind of conceal it and uh i thought it was worth mentioning i guess is where i'm going with all this um so i'm going to finish that up get that uh installed and then start assembling the kitchen cabinet and it should go in there tonight um i'll get everything screwed back in um and then start to try to get the the pieces that need to be brad nailed and wood glued in but yeah so it's been a long day but it's all starting to come together so i'll get to it i'll finish off this little shelf thing and then we'll get the we'll get the cabinet in in um, it was kind of a pain in the butt to get everything to fit into place a couple things that I still have to do um, now that everything is in I can do my some wood filler and uh, paint to kind of hide the screws um, I still have to paint the insides of these uh, shelves where the wood glue and the, the brad nails are holding it in place I still need to get some L brackets to attach this vertical divider to the underside of the tabletop. I didn't want to go through the tabletop with screws or brad nails, so I'm just going to get some L brackets, um, a couple on each side. Then I'll be able to make my drawers. You can see that the cabinet comes into my, my doorway there. You can see this empty void here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to stencil with cardboard to make a template. Uh, cut it out in masonite, wrap the masonite board in carpet, and that's going to get attached to this edge here. And there's actually like a perfect little lip for it to rest against here. Um, and that'll go from the bottom to the top of the cabinet so that you don't see this unpainted edge and this is blocked off. But yeah, so I think that's enough for today. I don't know if you can tell, but it's definitely nighttime here. Um, I got the, that box in I'm pretty satisfied with. Um, and then the kitchen cabinet painted and got the countertop stained. I kind of like it. I kind of like the it not all being one color. Um, the white's going to get dirty. Just I've noticed from what I've painted. Um, and a couple of you have actually said in the comments about getting a handle for that door 
because it's going to get dirty and you were right everything that's white has gotten dirty so i will be getting probably a handle or make some sort of a handle for that door and just do my best to keep this white clean i'm notorious for fingerprints but yeah if you guys have any ideas or, or know of anything that cleans the white painted wood well without i mean i don't know what would take the paint off the wood or if that would even happen but if you guys have any suggestions as far as keeping the the van clean please let me know that'd be greatly appreciated but anyway um i just wanted to try to include as much detail as possible with this build um it was a very tedious process so hopefully uh it helps you guys understand kind of what all goes into making cabinets and shelves and vans and stuff like that but uh I think I'm going to save the the drawers for another video because um, I still don't know what I'm going to do for those yet. But yeah, that's going to wrap up this video. If you liked it, uh, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button and uh, maybe consider subscribing. It's been awesome to hear your guys' feedback and everything in the comments. I really appreciate it. Keep it up. Um, I'm always open to new ideas and suggestions. So again, hopefully you guys like this video and uh, I will see you in the next one.